Hello? Hmm. Or Don Kenray, Dakota. How's it going? What's your last name? Karen. Karen. Dakota Karen. Kenray Custom Metal and Doc Doc Metal or Doc Toe. Doc Toe. We can do this again. <laughs> so we're working together. Uh, I've been doing this, had my own business for about 27 years. Dakota's had his own business for about a year and a half, about three years of experience. So we're going to do a uh, daily welding lesson just to kind of go over safety things, kind of different fabrication things, different things that are, aren't taught in a welding program, and kind of real world scenarios that take place in the workplace, in the fab shop. So. Right now, today, what we're doing, we're getting ready to forge or get the roads done and heat some pieces for some ornamental rails we're doing. So we're just putting the cutting short torch, setting up the rosebud to burn. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of go over some safety features about the rosebud and cutting torch using these. So. We have ox acetylene, oxygen, cutting torch. We've got our rosebud set up here. The acetylene. So on these gauges, we turn the acetylene on. Only turn that a little bit because you're not you want to be able to shut it off if something goes askew. The oxygen. Crack these open slow. You hear that little valve check in there. So then when you open your oxygen, you want to crank this open all the way because that allows that little check valve to slam shut if you were to knock the top off of this. You can see the pressure. There's not much pressure in this. When you get these new, there's about 2,000 PSI pressure in these. So you don't want to knock that valve loose. So that now is our rosebud. We're going to run acetylene you can adjust your pressure on about the rosebud probably about 10 psi that's this little gauge down here so they're setting that to like 10 psi so that's good so you always set it when you're running so i got the acetylene turned on it's showing the pressure here and when i shut it off you see it kind of bump up that's just kind of the pressure in the hose same thing on the oxygen yeah, crack the valve so you got to there's a PSI there's PSI and there's bar so you want the PSI so here I want to run about 30 PSI so you see there's 25 there's about 30 PSI and you see the valve the gauge move just a little bit that's why you want to run it when it's if you set it when it's running then it's a little different it's going to show you're true to what you're really running, your 30 PSI. So, so that's the kind of how that works. So then, when you're starting this thing up, you kind of crack the Crack your acetylene and then crack your oxygen. Here, extend okay. back so you can see the whole thing what we're doing here. So a little a little acetylene, a little oxygen. And then you're turning your oxygen. Where you just get through a speed there. And you adjust your flame down. And then turn it up your oxygen where you got it. Yeah, at a certain point now it starts opening up, that's when there's 
kind of heat it all the way through. See it moving back and forth. So that shows you kind of how much that heat affects the standard. Now you shut this off, I already shut off the gas first. Shut off your acetylene, then shut off your oxygen. And then now this. We just want to clamp this. Just kind of keep that in place. We just have this set up to clamp there. Now while this is kind of hot. I want to clamp this together. There we go. That's straight and flat. Hmm. So that's just kind of a quick way to bend those pieces together. Now what I do want to do, this should be the center line. Should be over there. I, I drew that center line at three quarters, so this is pulled over a little bit. Kind of pull that over. You see the center line right there? Yep. Okay. All right, in the end of there, in the end of that little. You can see that little white Hello. tick mark. Is, is